It's Dave, Bill, and Carmen, the morning cruise here at the Joy FM, and we got KB in the studio with us this morning. Yeah, this has been a long time coming. We're really thankful that you took some time to be with hey, us this man. morning. Okay, so the new album is out. God's glory alone too. Did I get that right? Uh, His glory His alone glory too. Alone too. Uh-huh. So yeah. there's a song on this this album that I wanted to ask you about. Yes. We're going to get to Dangerous Jesus in just okay. a couple minutes. Yeah, but yeah. Let's start right here because you start that book, which you've just just written, which we'll yes. get to, with some of your own story. Yes. This song has a lyric in it that that gives a bit of your story. So uh-huh. the song is called To God. Okay. T O O God. He's and God. I noticed yeah. Andre Crouch's name there, which called oh, my yeah. attention. So you've got a little bit of, you know, to God be the glory, Uh huh. but then you go into, and I'm going to read some rap lyrics, but I'm going to just stop short. Should we, should we go ahead oh, and get no. Hammy to throw a beat I'm behind you? No, no, no. no. I have to sense no. this. No, I was going to <laughs> yeah. No, I'm joking. Go ahead. 16. I walked to the shooters, told them Jesus saved my life. Huh? Hallelujah. <laughs> That's right. Yes. And it sounded great. Uh, a little cadence there. Run it up lightly. K never stop. Question, question mark. Ain't no hyphen. Come from the side with a lightning. 15 years wifey, no side piece. Got a yeah. hundred something. Hundred people. Okay. Yes. Living we, just we like holding me. holding on tightly. Spirit on my white tee. Clean it up tightly. God Almighty, talk to me nicely. Yes, yes. All right, now okay. let me give you a little All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tell us a little bit uh, about the effort. that yeah. song. Yeah. Like yeah. The effort? Well, yeah. it was good effort, though. I'm right. sorry. Sure, it's not, not bad for I'll an old white it guy. It was right? good effort. That's I'm sorry. Perfect. It was good effort. No, no, no. That was um, perfect. <laughs> Thank you for asking me that question. Yeah. Um, yes, that's the second song on the album. And I am talking a little bit about, about what Jesus has done in me. I, mm. I think as I've been walking with the Lord for a while now. Um, and, you know, when five years turns to 10 and 10 to 15 and 20, you know, oftentimes life has a way of, there's a fire behind you right now uh, on the screen life has a way to just dampen fires. Mm. The flames that you had in your 20s begin to, they begin to kind of, you know, fizzle into your 30s and then by your 40s, all you're thinking about is retirement and 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 then so on and so forth. I think that there's a, a way that we watch fire that we have for the Lord Jesus and the things of God fade and the enemy loves that mm-hmm. because the enemy wants to find you when you're vulnerable, mm-hmm. when you're not seeing things as clear, you're not feeling as into it. And he wants to show up and say, have you considered these alternatives? Mm-hmm. I feel like TikTok, especially for young folks, mm-hmm. uh, is just, and, I, and I'm a fan of TikTok. I'm not a fan of this part I'm about to say, but it's like a cesspool mm-hmm. of counter arguments, mm-hmm. counter narratives, mm-hmm. uh, alternative realities mm-hmm. for the things of God. Mm-hmm. And, and, and you got, you got, you got things of God and you got people that are working hard mm-hmm. and, and, and studying hard to influence. And I think that, what we have found in all of our debates, apologetics, and going back and forth with different religious groups and worldviews and stuff like that, what is found, what I have found to be the most salient, the most profound argument mm. for my staying here mm. is that I cannot deny that Jesus has changed my life. Mm. I can't deny it. Mm. I cannot deny that the resurrected Savior brought a resurrection vibe to my entire life. Things that were dead started to come alive. Mm. And when I don't have the best argument, maybe I don't have the best angle. I don't know how to be winsome enough in these cultural debates. I do know this. I have Jesus Mm. and no one has taken that away from me. Mm -hmm. And I often want people to reflect on what God has already done. We can get so fixated on what we want God to do, what I'm waiting for him to do, that you miss out on all the ways that he has showed up and showed himself strong in the past. I remember being 16 years old, walking up to a bunch of people who I just a year ago would have been terrified of. And I walked up to them with boldness and courage and looked them in the face and said, Jesus is who he says he is. Believe the gospel. Come to life. Mm -hmm. You know? The kinds of things that I have seen God carry me through and protect me from, it is just obvious that he is active and his activity is evidence for my belief. So that's that's what I meant in that in that line. I'll say this very last thing and then, then I'll, I'll kick it back. I know there's a radio. I'm going to edit this stuff down. <laughs> no, you, you got it. You got the floor. We have been waiting for Jesus to come back for mm-hmm. a long time. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's like over 2,000 years now. Mm-hmm. And... As I'm trying to think about how to disciple my boys, and they ask these questions about, you know, why have we been waiting so long? Where is he? What's taking so long? 
do you get tired of waiting? Mm -hmm. And I can confidently say, though I long for the return of Jesus. I mean, Maranatha, I want him to crack the sky and make things right. Mm -hmm. I am not tired of waiting. Mm -hmm. I'm not tired of waiting because Jesus is meeting with us regularly. Mm -hmm. We hear his voice. We see his hand. Mm -hmm. We experience his presence, not perfectly, but perpetually. Mm -hmm. There is not going to be when I stand before God as if I'm meeting him for the first time. It will be much deeper, but I am trying to live my life where I am meeting him daily so that heaven or the kingdom or the return of Christ is just the fulfillment of what I've always longed for and what I've already been experiencing. Yeah. Second Peter chapter four right there. Mm. Mm.